joint action from protest in Lagos destructed by the police. And you can't put a dose state in your pocket. Obaseki lashes out at Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. This is Plus Politics. Welcome to Plus Politics. I am Kaede Ladende. Today, in the economic capital of Nigeria, Lagos, the Joint Action Front protested the hike in fuel and electricity tariff. The protest was in alliance with other civil society and pro-labor groups in Nigeria. The protest was disrupted by Nigerian police, and joining us live to make perspective of this is Achike Chude, the vice chairman of Joint Action Front. Achike, good evening. Good evening, it's a pleasure. We are also being joined by the police uh, public relations officer in Lagos, Muiwa Adejobi. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, my brother. How are you? Good evening, our listeners. Yeah, good to have you. Let me start with you, Achike. Uh, can you tell us what really transpired today? Because we understand that uh, you were arrested and uh, maybe you were detained for some hours. But let me hear, like we say, from the horse's mouth. Yes, well, members of the Joint uh, Action Front, uh, as well as uh, affiliates and uh, civil society partners, had met uh, for the purpose of uh, mobilizing against the increase in the pump price of fuel, as well as uh, the increase in the price of electricity in the country. Of course, uh, we uh, have been um, sensitizing the public, you know, up to this point. And so it is not something that we did in secret. We did it openly. Yeah, so around the 9.30 or so, thereabouts, we took off, uh, you know, towards the uh, you know, and then beyond that, towards the uh, Lawan scene. And it was quite peaceful. I mean, you know, the normal things are situated there uh, with uh, rallies and, you know, protests, but peaceful protests. No, so by the time we got to a stage um, somewhere around that, I think around the Chaga or so, we decided to turn back. Uh, so it was at that moment of turning back that the uh, department of uh, police, men, police vehicles, uh, you know, now passed their vehicles uh, and then held us, uh, uh, refused for us to move. Um, first of all, they were asking us about their uh, permit. Uh, to protest, and we told them. Luckily, we had a lawyer with us, uh, Malaki Gumado, a civil society activist, who also re once more, for the obtained time, reminded them that we do not need a police permit uh, for, I mean, for to show our dissatisfaction with government. And that matter had not been settled at the level of the Supreme Court. Uh, you know, so they now um, insisted on the taking our leadership, the JAF leadership, including myself. Uh, but at that, uh, the, those in the procession, in the protest, because they said it was never going to happen, they would not allow it, unless uh, they have to arrest everybody. Uh, you know, and so that was what happened. And then, uh, by then, you know, we now wanted to move, they refused for us to move. And what I suspected was that they did not have enough personnel uh, to be able to affect the rest of everybody there. So they needed some delay tactics so that they could okay. um, uh, call for backup. And, and, and this was the call for reinforcement. So as soon as the reinforcement arrived, then uh, they practically forced us you know, into the vehicles. But of course, we, we, we willingly entered the vehicles because we had nothing to fear. We had nothing to be, you know, to be worried about. So okay. we were taken to the uh, Area C, um, command at uh, Oju Elegba, uh, you know, and they were there for some time while okay. they were, we were trying to sort out uh, the whole uh, situation. Now, we made it very clear that uh, we have the support of the law. We had the backing of the law of this country okay. uh, with regard to what we are doing. And then one other thing they came up with was that, um, uh, you know, the, the, that uh, from experience, this is get hijacked 
and so they don't want the uh, area boys to hijack. Okay, let's 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 yeah. let us hear their own version. Uh, Mr. Muiwa Adejobi, I believe that um, you've been well briefed. So, what exactly is the true version from your own angle? Well, uh, it's a very, it's a very clear, it's a very clear case. Uh, in as much as we believe every Nigerian has the right to protest, to express his or her feelings, we still want to say, without missing words, that uh, no fundamental human right is absolute. We and have decided in this command, the CP has said. He will not arrest any protesters. But what we're trying to do, Lagos is a very sensitive state. Anything we do can easily trigger or ignite security breaches or public breaches. If you want to have a protest, we are not saying you should come to the police to have permits. What we just want is inform the police we have many people who want to protest one so that your procession would not clash with another people's procession would we'll know how you want to do it because if you are having pro it's not good for us to say have anti protest at the same time hmm. they will clash hmm. so if you want to do we can easily tell you that okay this is the area the area commander in charge of that place to give you men, not to attack you, not to harass you, not to stop you from expressing your feelings, but just to make sure that your protest is not exact by Ulon. Because if you say in good faith that your protest is peaceful, that is you that you know your mission and you know you want to stage a peaceful protest. But the moment there's any attack, Stealing from persons, harassment, extortion has come in. You know it's not peaceful again. Okay, Mr. So <laughs> you, the organizers, and those who are there will be really we were, irresponsible uh, we've for lost, any criminal We've lost quite act. a lot of time, so I want us to maximize the little time we have. Let me go back to uh, Achike. Achike, I asked a member of your team, uh, or we asked a member of your team during our uh, earlier bulletin, what does it cost JAF to inform the police, not seek permission now? Because we understand that wasn't done. Yeah, you see, again, I, when uh, my brother has, she has not spoken badly, uh, Mr. Moiwadje, uh, but you see, there is an inconsistency you know, in the position of the police. Look, we had already moved from a large one house in the Secretariat of Nigerian Labor Congress in Lagos all the way to Shaga, where we were. It had been peaceful up to that point. The only time we had issues was when we had an altercation with the police. That was where people began to gather. And now, you know what the police would have done? What the police would have done is, since they were already there, and since they met a peaceful protest, what they should have done is to gladly escort, because this is what, if they say, look, you found the police before they do this, that this is what, they, what they would have done is to gladly now accompany us back to the secretariat where we had come from peacefully. They did not do that. They decided to get us arrested and take us to the police station. So what was the essence of even that arrest in the first place? You understand? The, the process had been peaceful up to that point. And then where you now, if you say it is about not making sure, it's about making sure that this process is not, you know, uh, 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 hijacked by hoodlums, then they would have taken us, accompanied us to the secretariat. I don't think we would have minded so much. Now, but beyond that is the fact that on Wednesday, members of the, you know, uh, SPN, the Socialist Party of Nigeria, you know, also had a procession. In fact, by the time they got to Yaba, it was, it was, it was full of policemen and police vehicles. And those people were harassed, they were stopped from processing and arrested and taken to the you know, uh, to the task force at Ikeda, from where I told you, from where they were now released. They wanted to arrest them at the court, but eventually decided against it. You know, so these are some of the issues. So they had met them there. They should have accompanied them. This is what we are saying. Follow them. Make sure that the hoodlums do not hijack okay. them. But you see, it is beyond the police. That's what we are saying. 
The, the reality is that the politicians are writing the scripts for the police to follow. And for as long as the politicians write the scripts, politicians that are motivated by other subterranean interests, you know, they, they find they end, end up using the police as canon for that. When something goes wrong, it is easy to blame the police. The police, I want to say, and I'm not holding brief for the police, they are not exactly as bad as people think they are. They have their faults, but they also have their strong point. It's, it's like the issue of elections, for instance. If you allow the okay. police to do their work without let or hindrance, without the interference of the politicians, okay, Archie, there's always a greater tendency Archie, that they will uh, um, uh, You've thrown up with quite a lot of issues. Let me quickly get uh, Muiwa's uh, reaction to that. He has raised some fundamental issues. And quite a lot of Nigerians are watching this particular program. So, Mr. Muiwa, what does it take? What should be in the letter for people to protest? Why? How true is that statement that everybody has right to protest and the police will not disturb them from protesting as long as they write you? That's what I that's 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 what I've just said. The constitution makes it clear that you have rights, fundamental human rights, you have liberty, you have no, freedom no, no, of speech. Let me let me explain what I meant. In the recent time there's been series of uh, canisters being fired at protesters. That does not look like someone who wants to protect people. I'm talking about some immediate protests we had, like the revolution now and the anniversary. I'm not even referring to when Shuwara was arrested. So this seems quite a bit confusing. Is it about there's a change of uh, plan now? Sorry, excuse me. There, 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 are, there are certain things we need to clarify. And I'm, it's quite unfortunate that this your forum might not be the best forum to clarify this. Okay. One, there must be a clear demarcation between peaceful protest, riotous assembly, and riot. So if if you have if you have peaceful protest, whatever it is, there's no how you not inform the police, particularly in labor seats. There are reasons, there are some places that by the time you gather, there's no how. We know there is no hard that some good laws will not come and join you. That you cannot even have control over them. That is one. Hmm. Two, by the time by the time your protest is becoming a righteous assembly, according to the provisions of the law, the police will not allow such to come up. So if if we want to have it right and we want to be objective, it might not be applicable in other states. But hmm. for the case of Lagos State. Hmm. There's no our police, we just allow people to gather together, assemble together. We need to respect one another's opinion. Hmm. If you say you have the right, as I said earlier, no fundamental human right is so absolute. In as much as we know you have the right to do it, police too have the right Muiwa, to checkmate our SSEs. Muiwa, thank you so much. I, I, like you said, this is actually a very good platform to clarify that, and that is exactly what you're doing. But before I go to Achike, can you please explain what constitutes a riotous protest? Because a lot of people will want to seek clarity on that. There is no, I am not saying riotous protest. Don't, don't, don't misquote me. Okay, help me. Riotous assembly. Okay, riotous assembly. Riotous assembly and riots. There are different between, there are differences between all these. Your protest is simple procession that you are going, you can carry placards, you can be singing, and you form a line, you go organize movement, it's a procession, fine. But the situation whereby you are blocking the road, you don't allow innocent Nigerians to move, burn fire, attacking individuals, breaking mir side mirrors of vehicles, okay. it is not peaceful again. Okay. And at that point in time, the law permits the police to, to pronounce what we call proclamation word or word of proclamation that if you in any religious assembly and after that word of proclamation the law permits police to use minimum force to disperse okay that minimum force is not quantifiable it's that the discretion of the commander at that point in time to apply such minimum force okay so if if you want the, the, the only solution now is to me from our hand is let the not the us from writing to the police we receive letters on a regular basis when you write there's nobody that will say no 
to, 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 your, to your request. All they will do is, area commander, the city has been doing it in Lagos State. Area commander monitor the, monitor the protest. Area commander provide men. He has never said no to any request. So okay. why is it difficult for us as an organization or as individuals to inform the police? Okay. Uh, thank you for that clarity. And if... today we did not arrest anybody. They were talked to by the, the, the DPO's rule area and they had things to talk before they went peaceably. Oh. So we didn't attack anybody, we didn't harass okay. anybody. That's, 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 uh, that's a point we must note. Uh, Achike, uh, do you agree? Yeah. No, no, no. We were not there. Uh, I mean, this, the, the, the last uh, statement was not true because he was not there. Obviously, he has gotten the information from uh, uh, his uh, police report. What is we were, first of all, we were stopped from moving further. When, when they intercepted us, we were stopped from moving further. And when we wanted to move, they said we are not going to go anywhere because they were looking for backup. And they called for reinforcement. When they called for reinforcement, they said we were going to enter their vehicles. Okay. I mean, the area C is not far from, from where we were. It's just a stone throw, less than a kilometer. We could have walked to the place if that is the case. We did not want to go with their vehicles. So why, how come we ended up on the back of their vehicles? You know, so that, that, that is it. So that was Actually, an arrest. Sorry, let me interject they here. Insisted. Let me interject yes. here. Uh, I understand that this is a very calm atmosphere. I can see that a lot of your guys are singing. Does this show yeah. some kind of um, conflict? Because this looks like a civil exercise. Are, are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. From the well, clips no, no, we have here. Yeah, at the initial stage, at the initial stage when we saw the police, you know, what, I mean, we, we, had, we didn't have any problem with the police being there. Some of us even went, and I was one of those who went and gave them our, 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 our leaflets. You understand? So what does that, what does that imply? Uh, you know, we had no problems with them. Okay, but they had already made up their mind. You know why they had made up their mind? They had made up their mind to stop us because they got instruction from, from above, from somewhere, that we needed to be stopped by all means. Because look, the reality is that, and that's why I think sometimes I pity the position of the police. It is a problem of the polity and the politics of this country. That those people who are in government are afraid of the people that they are governing. And so when the same people who elected them and brought to them in power, you know, now express, now need to express their anger and their annoyance and disenchantment with the way they are being governed. The same people panic and they give instructions to the police to harass those people. This is what is going on. So sometimes it's not as if even the police themselves want to do this. But believe me, they are compelled by the exigencies of the politics of this country to do certain things that they normally would not want to do. Okay, I, I'm going to I'm come, I'm come back to you to get some clarity or over some issues. But let's look at uh, the way forward now. Uh, Mr. Muiwa Dejobi, please, I'm asking this question on behalf of a lot of Nigerians who have become so afraid to express their feelings, express their grievances. I'm happy with the definition of rioters' assembly. What does it take to get... This is a clear case of fuel hike. This is a clear case of uh, uh, electricity tariff. Don't they have right to hit the street and express themselves? Like, 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 I said, like I said earlier on, it's a very simple thing. Nobody is saying they should not protest. They should not express their anger. But for the case of this state, this legal state, we don't want a situation whereby certain individuals will gather together that they want to stage a protest. We have had cases where protests of such will lead to crisis, be attacked by woodlands and innocent Nigerians will be at the receiving end. Instead of, we don't need to be flogging this unnecessarily. It's a clear thing that, even despite the fact that the, the law of the land provides that you carry out your protest, you have liberty, you have this. There's no law that does not come with an exception. There's no law that does not come with an exception. So if you want to have protests and you want to express your feelings, just inform the police, so that we know the location, the route, the procession, and everything you want to do. And men will follow you. 
That's why even there, there are some people today that will testify that even when they were having their innocently organized protests, hoodlums will attack them. Hoodlums will adjust, adjust the protest. What situation where you are saying you don't want it? There are some that will just look at you that you are disturbing their peace and bestowing you, attacking you. With your own genuineness of the protest you are doing. So we have said to you in this state, this Lagos state, if you want to have it, mark my words, nobody will say you should not protest. But all we want is let us know. We are going to guide you, advise on how we are and how we're going to move and how the men will join you. Okay. And the, the arrest they are talking, I don't, we have not got the report that anybody has been arrested okay. in two later today. Uh we, were, we will try and avoid that uh, uh, front and back or whether arrest was made or not. But Achike, this is an opportunity for you to speak your mind that tomorrow, if you choose to protest, I'm not inciting you to go for protest, that the police is telling you that you should mark their words. If you do the right thing by right informing them, not seeking permission, you can hit the street. Is that a word of consolation for you? Well, well, Ms. Amuiwa has uh, she has not spoken badly. Let me let me just say that um, and tell the fact that we were arrested because we went there against our will. It's an arrest. That's what it means. We did not go there freely. Okay. But the only thing I can say in favor of the police there is that um, the area commander was quite a gentleman. He spoke to us. We reasoned together. We talked together. You understand? And that was why. So when we left, we did not live with so much bitterness. You understand? So I think this is what uh, the one way I have of uh, looking at it. You know, every other thing that Mr. Muriwa said, the ones that we're going to look at, we'll look at. Uh, but the reality is that uh, uh, sometimes uh, the, even the aggression itself, you can see that we are singing in the, on, in the, in the pickups with solidarity songs. And like I said, we had distributed the leaflets today. Why did we do that if we had any enmity or animals okay. towards the police? We did not. Okay. You understand? But again, they, when they are under instruction, uh, they have this kill and go look about them that is not nice. That's not what we want to see from our police. Okay. Because ultimately, even what we are fighting for, they end up benefiting from. You know, uh, so there must be some kind of a positive uh, 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 more okay. right, uh, between us and uh, the police, they will not stop us from doing what we have to do. That one is absolutely okay. very clear. Okay. Not I'm so sorry. My right time to... is far spent. Yes. We have to end this okay. conversation. Thank you so much. Achike Chude, Vice Chairman, Joint Action Front, we wish you the best and we know that whatever you're protesting for is for our own interest. Thank you so much. And uh, Muiwa Adejobi, thank you for your time. Thank you for making you. Yeah. so many... Thank good... you so much. Uh, we'll I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful night. Bye. We'll, Thank you. We'll continue to have you some other time. Yeah, to Thank you, my Lord. Thank you. Uh, let's take a short break now. When we return, we'll be talking about Governor Baseki, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinumbu, and the Edu elections. Please stay with us. <laughs>